Speaking of football, a Fresno State photographer reached what could be the pinnacle of picture taking. Two of Kerry Edmondson's sports pictures appeared as a cover of Sports Illustrated in the past three weeks. And he is here to talk more about this pretty big honor. Kerry Edmondson, University of Talk Pro at Fresno State, welcome to the show. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. How did this all happen? My goodness. Uh, yeah, it was a surprise to me, too. I mean, I'm a contract photographer for uh, USA Today Sports on the side. So um, I load pictures from the games I shoot, you know, as the games are going on. And these two pictures got picked up, you know, you know, about a year later and got two covers in three weeks. This is, this is crazy. So, is. I mean, okay, so first of all, let's start from the beginning. Okay. When did you first even pick up a camera and, and, you, and you knew this is what you wanted to do? Um, I was a painting and drawing major at Fresno State uh, probably around 2000, 2001. And then when I got LASIK surgery, yeah. uh, I just changed everything. Don't you love LASIK surgery? I do love LASIK surgery. It changed surgery. your life. I yeah, it, did, it changed my life completely. Yeah, I got behind the camera and uh, I had front row seats to the the basketball games and Jerry Tarkane was coaching and I just started taking pictures there and before you know it I started working at the Collegian and it just you know transpired there into newspaper photography. Okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the first cover. Okay. Uh, so so describe to us where you were. This is it right here. Yeah um, um, Shane Sko for okay. Stanford. I was shooting one of the last games of the regular season I think for Stanford. They were playing Arizona okay. and uh, it was an interception and so the rest of the team you can kind of see them muffled there behind them. But they, they had an interception, so he kind of just turned to the crowd and you know, just did this little bit of a celebration on it. Uh, that's why he's on his tippy toes right there. Got it. Okay. So why do you think they picked this picture? Uh, yeah, my dad was analyzing, why did they pick yours? But um, I think a lot of it has to do with it that maybe there aren't, aren't as many good photos of defensive players uh -huh. um, in existence as there are like the quarterbacks and the running backs, because Stanford recently lost their you know, running back and quarterback to the pros. Okay. So maybe that's one reason why I had a better, better odds. Where were you standing when you took this picture? Uh, did you have to zoom in? Were you far away? No, actually, right this, there? My, this is my smaller uh, lens. I was in the end zone, and he just, you know, they're probably about the five or ten yard line, so they're already pretty close to us. Wow. Okay, and so then less than a month later, you get another picture. Yeah. What, what game were you, where were you? That was a December game with the 49ers and Arizona Cardinals. And, that's, uh, oh, that's a great picture, too. Yeah, so you got a Kaepernick shot on the cover. Um, I think it was one of those plays where he was about to throw a long bomb and he was looking downfield and I stuck with the quarterback rather than twist to the wide receiver. So I'm glad I did that now because it paid off for a cover shot. Well, how did you even know to do that? Uh, you have to take chances in sports photography. I mean, you don't even know what's going to happen. But for me, I know that Kaepernick hasn't, you know, he didn't play a full season last year, so there's not as many pictures in existence. So for me, I wanted to, like, I got to get a lot of Kaepernick shots. And oh, so you have to do your research, really. Well, yeah, you have to be a huge football fan to know of, what you're talking about. A little bit of thought process. It's always a guessing game. You want to anticipate where the play is going. I mean, if I had their playbook, it might make my life a little easier. But uh, the reason sports is fun is because it's so unpredictable. Okay, so you take this picture, and then you see it on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Did they do anything different to it? Or are you looking at this picture? No, wait a second. That's they pretty kinda natural. made them look better, so, or were they? No, I mean, that's a good, this is it. Yeah, that's it. There's a good color correction, but I mean, it's pretty much what I shot. So when you took the picture and you developed the picture, did you think, okay, this one's going to make it? No, I mean, we, we take a lot of photos similar to this, you know, and it's just... So I why did you think they this one? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I'm glad they did, but yeah, I don't know why they chose it. Okay, so what does this mean for your career? You're, you're, you're a photographer over at the university, right. so, so you travel and you take pictures of sports games, but... What is this going to do? I'm sure it's going to catapult your career, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy at Fresno State, though. I mean, we did a lot of freedom there in the athletics program. We've been, we've been doing some good shoots there with the water, you know, uh, catch the wave team that we've been working with. Um, so I don't plan on going anywhere, but it is nice to be recognized a little bit more. Maybe I can get some, you know, good side jobs with, you know, Sports Illustrated or something oh, someday. Yeah. You know, that, that'd be a dream. But did we'll they call happens. you and say anything? What did no, they tell you? What did they, they, what'd you get? Did you get anything? You? No, I mean, you get, I'll get a little extra bonus, you know, but, um, you know, I found out from my the guy who sets my schedule for USA Today Sports, and he's the one that just sent the email and said, Congratulations again. So I've got that email twice now, but you never hear from Sports Illustrated. We just get a paycheck in the mail later. Really? So you don't get this big certificate? No, no, no certificate. Or balloons at your door? Or anything no, but like the cover is good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah. say. Now, do you have a frame? Did you buy all the copies? Of yeah, the my mom, store? I think she <laughs> bought out one of the local Wal Walgreens here. But um, <laughs> yeah, we, we bought a lot for the family, and then I'm going to probably try and get a couple of large ones for the office. Gotcha. Okay, so I know that you also take pictures of weddings yeah. on the weekends. You really keep yourself busy. Um, what's the difference between. Well, that sounds like a really dumb question. What's the difference between shooting football and weddings? But how do you know to take a good picture at a wedding and, and, and differentiate that 
when taking a good picture at football game? Yeah, they're, they're a little different. I mean, I'm always trying to look for a story, you know, anything I can yeah. do with the story. So, like, when I shoot weddings, I don't, I don't do the posy, like, you know, ch cheesy smiles. I'm more the guy that tries to get the candid, behind-the-scenes nice. moments, you know, like the, the bride walking down the aisle with her dad, you know, the, you know, the moments before that actually happens. So I try to get a lot of the, the documentary side of it that I learned from the newspaper photography that I used to do. But, I mean, compared to sports, I mean, there's still similarities that you have to anticipate. You have to think about where it is going to happen, where is the light at. You know, just a lot of things go into play. What's more difficult? Uh, it depends on your bride. Um, <laughs> so uh, if, you get, you know, if you get good clients, then, I mean, weddings are really fun, and then it's a big party all night long. So they're, they're definitely fun. Um, but, I mean, I'd say baseball is probably one of the harder sh sports to shoot because you don't know if you're going to get a good, good game. Sometimes yeah. there's pitcher's duels. You're praying that some guy will get a ground ball and die for it. So, I mean, it's definitely easier to get a good shot at football or basketball or even a wedding versus a baseball game. I'll say, yeah. I bet. Well, listen, it's been so fun talking to Thanks. you. I really appreciate it. And um, if you happen to be getting married soon yeah. and want to uh, carry over at your uh, wedding to take wonderful pictures, I'm sure, give them a call at 278-4656, or you can go to kerryedmondson.com, which is right there on your screen, kerryedmondson.com. Okay, so really quickly, we're out of time, but what's your goal? Like, What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm already living it. I think the, the big goal I have is if we can get uh, maybe Derek Carr on the Sports Illustrated cover. There that'd, you be, go. that'd be a dream. That'd be a more yeah. his goal. <laughs> well, that'd be good for all of us. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, Carrie, you're a good guy. Thanks right. so much for being here. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, still to come here on Central Valley today, the Carnival that is coming to Fresno and how the city of Fresno is encouraging you to.